Namaste and welcome. It's Arshna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming each and every one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for the beautiful Divine Feminine Collective. If you resonate with the vibration of the Divine Feminine, let's uh, look at what Spirit has for you about your life, about your life path, about perhaps something that you are seeking clarity on or needing a little bit more of um, a 360 degree view, shall we say that? Let's start with these messages. Thank you all for those who have subscribed to my channel and who are continuously supporting me. I appreciate you all. So Divine Feminines, you are in a period in your life where it's time for a do-over. We have the judgment. This is the time where you're being asked to radically, I'm hearing the word radically, to radically accept your past, to let go of what has been, perhaps the choices that you made on your path, on your journey, where you're judging yourself, which you consider as mistakes, perhaps you loved someone very, very deeply, you gave a lot in that relationship, and you didn't receive much in that and there was a lot of pain that you've experienced in your journey, whether it's in goal manifestation, in relationships in general, in work, you're not recognized, and um, you felt defeated. You felt not heard. I'm hearing I'm not heard, I'm not seen. So whatever has been the energy of that past, the trauma that we hold in our bodies, in our hearts, in our emotional energy, it blocks the beautiful emotional energy from flowing. Um, I'm seeing over here that this is the time that your soul is saying just let go of that and we're going to start a new journey. Okay, we have the judgment. Divine Feminines, what are they needing to know angels? Healing family lines. Okay, let's delve into that. Free yourself from secrets. Discover the hidden treasure of your heritage. Free yourself from secrets. Three zero. Some of you in your family lineage, there is very strong psychic information, meaning that the women and here I'm feeling like the women, whether it's from your maternal side or from your paternal side, um, maybe your great, great grandmothers or even beyond, but it, it is women I'm picking up. Women in your family line held a lot of power, and I mean as in divine feminine power. Perhaps uh, they struggled expressing it, perhaps they were persecuted, perhaps they were um, shunned, or perhaps even uh, some of them use that power uh, not for the good, right? Now you've chosen here, you've incarnated here at this time in this body, my beautiful Divine Feminine, and um, you've been healing these family lines. You've chosen to heal this, to go deep and clear that out, to be the embodiment of souls, to be the embodiment of the beautiful Feminine who's psychic, who's, re who's receptive, okay? who is a conduit for divine love, okay? who honors the earth, is a child of Mother Earth, is connected to the Divine Mother, is the Divine Mother. Honoring the feminine principle. Okay? Maybe you're the first one who's honoring being a feminine. Okay? Um, there's some, something you're going to discover. That's what's happening with this judgment right now. As you've been praying, and you've been asking for a path, you've been asking when are these hardships, I'm seeing white covered mountains. So mountains reminds me of like, it's going to be a trek, it's going to be a difficulty, it's a challenge. You've overcome many, you've been going through many difficult challenges and challenge after challenge after challenge. Um, this path has been to discover something that's hidden in your heritage. There's a reason you're born there. There's a reason why certain things have been happening 
the way they have been happening. You're here to bring some corrections back onto the family lineage, bring the people back to connect them back to the tree. I feel like you're very, very, um, you're very, very important in your family. Whether your 3D family sees that or recognizes that or not, but I do feel that you bring the divine feminine quality in your family and they, they are healed at, at many, many layers, many, many levels. You may not see it in the 3D, but that's what I'm hearing as a message that's coming in. We'll explore more. Let's go into tarot a little bit. I'm feeling tarot right now. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Hanged Man reverse. I'm feeling that with the judgment here. Fool reversed. Hmm, okay. These are blockages I feel you may have experienced to some degree in your life, but I definitely feel that this is a blockage. I see these are all feeling like blocked energies um, with a Knight of Wands reversed here. And Six of Cups reversed, I'm going to read it up here like that. Um, with a judgment here, you've been feeling very stuck, okay, in the past. Um, you've tried to find independence and um, this definitely runs in some family, in one of your family lines or both of your family line. Okay, definitely it runs there. Um, perhaps um, your family has struggled with, I'm sorry, but this is what's coming through, okay? Um, lack of motivation to continue to build upon their work, okay? Um, perhaps lacking ambition about work. Okay, um, not finding that willpower, not finding that strength and courage to be dedicated, to be resilient, to be pushing forth. Okay, and that could be the feminine principle, right? Like to continue the uh, psychic work, to continue um, the deep bonds that you have, connection to the Mother Earth. Okay, so I feel like with the hanged man, it is a card of enlightenment. And there have been a lot of challenges in that to find new perspective, to surrender, right? Surrendering is a divine feminine quality, okay? So um, there's been kind of resistance to uh, spirituality. Perhaps people in your family are very resistant to that, okay? There's this stagnation energy. The fool is a starting of a new cycle, trust. This is feeling like trust and surrender. Okay, trust and surrender. This is hard work. This is um, ambition. This is working hard on something, right? Um, so this is also the energy where the fool card is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open to a new way. I'm opening myself to a new cycle, to, um, you know, doing something that's different. And I trust in this new adventure. But over here, I'm sensing like a block of that. No, we're not going to be. That's very reckless. It's not what we do. This is not what is recognized in the family. This is not what is recognized in our homes. This would be wrong. Um, you're being very hasty. You're being very inconsiderate. Right. So um, that's the energy that I'm picking up that you have been healing. The Knight of Wands is sometimes seen as non-committal with the Eight of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling. So being non-committed to either some work or even spiritual work. Okay. Um, that's what I am feeling is what has been the blockage in your family line. That's what has come through. So let's look at some healing messages coming in from your guides for you. <laughs> yes, thank you, angels. So it says here, to conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. So this is a message for you, Divine Feminines, that... You cannot conform to this because that's not who you are. You're incarnated here with the judgment and the justice card here. This is absolutely, um, you chose this karmic path. I'm going to put it this way, not karmic connection. You chose this family heritage. You chose this particular family line to bring your gifts there. And your family line has gifts, okay? They're hidden gifts. And as you're healing this, I feel you're going to connect 
to some very specific gifts that run in your family heritage. So the angels are saying, be brave and be yourself. So authenticity is what they're asking of you. You are born and made a certain way and you've come here with certain, um, certain energy on earth in this particular family to bring about love okay let's reverse all of these cards to show what it means to trust to be innocent to be free-spirited to have to be spontaneous okay to understand different perspectives okay gain, gain a new perspective okay perhaps also the path of spirituality perhaps in your family lineage they let go of spirituality and got stuck in the material world okay and as humans we all do so you have chosen to be here to show a different perspective to help open the third eye because that's why you've gone through these challenges okay and with the water element it's again the divine feminine and the third eye is the feminine center okay so as you heal your sacral energies as you heal the emotions the traumas um, that are embedded in our sacral energies beautiful feminines you're allowing that energy to rise the kundalini energy to rise and your expression is changing that's where the boldness is coming you're, you're gaining that courage it is going through the home of the masculine energy right through the solar plexus so it can open up the heart so there can be a union in the heart of accepting the masculines of loving the masculines of understanding the masculines forgiving the lower vibrational masculines and then expressing who you are without fear authentically that helps you to strengthen your third eye right so that's what i am picking up that's what you have you have a strong third eye you have a strong psychic um energy and you have a great psychic seeing hearing some psychic gift is very very strong specifically in your family <clears throat> you're here to show another way you're here that uh, you you're willing to put in the time and effort to create something of great value no matter how long it takes so that perseverance that you are you're very good with that um, you're very good with skill development and that's what has been building skill development again takes me back to the solar plexus energy with the eight of pentacles you need a lot of willpower you need a lot of courage you need a lot of resilience you need a lot of dedication right willpower to continue i have my merlin's wand here right uh, to create something you need to keep doing it and that is be brave and be yourself right so you're finding that ignition you're finding that courage okay you're here to show another way and you're here to show here the passion, to follow the passions. You know, the positivity of the Knight of Wands is very passionate. So it's a lot of, look, we got the crown chakra here, the third eye, the solar plexus, and the heart. Look at all of that. These are all amazing upper chakra energies, my dear, beautiful divine feminines. And our lower chakras, um, the root chakra, okay again um we're dealing a lot with anchoring it in with the masculine energy but let's talk about the heart over here uh we have the sign of leo we have the sign of aquarius um pisces virgo you carry these vibrations you carry these energies of non-conformity okay non-conformity takes me to the aquarian energy pisces the great depth and and of releasing of letting go of surrender of trust okay of um of accepting the world as is the virgo really putting in the time and effort to mastery okay to mastery so if there's something that you are have started uh beautiful divine feminines if it's a project if it's some psychic uh, gifts that you're trying to develop and work on i'm here to encourage you that don't give up okay don't give up continue to build on that skill because you are you have this gift okay I'm here to remind you on that. So this is beautiful. We've got the Leo energy here. It's going to give, it's going to fuel up your heart. So um, <clears throat> follow the passions of your heart, and you're here to show people that uh, it's okay to be a bit rebellious. It's okay to take inspired action because that's what the Knights of Wands energy is is taking inspired action.
that's what you're here to do let's see the positive of this you're here to bring in a playfulness you're here to bring in innocence it takes me back to the full energy where as a child you're so innocent um, you're here to um, bring back that joy vibration in your family in people around you that's who you are okay um, you know exploring the sensual delights in a beautiful and a healthy way okay Let's take some more messages here from you, for you, from you, <laughs> from you, maybe. Let's see, from your higher self. Seventh house of relationships, and here we are, the North Node. You are meant to go and heal these relationships in a deep way. I have here the sign of Scorpio, water energy. Okay, so Scorpio to me is today is taking me to Pluto. It's taking me to transformation, death and transformation. So death of an old way of being. So bringing in healing in, okay, clearing these blockages and following your heart's desire. That is what you're meant to do. So if you've been doubting that people don't recognize you, that there's no value and this, you know, why am I born in this family line? Uh, this is the reason. Okay, this is the reason. This is seventh house of relationships. You're here to, to set a tone for new relationships, relationships that are very playful, that there is a familiarity, there is comfort in the relationship, uh, there is um, independence, there is spiritual development in relationships, there is free spiritedness, and there is a sense of looking at things from fresh beginnings. Um, in these relationships, there is great spontaneity, there is passion, okay? So I'm seeing beautiful, beautiful energies here. That's what you're meant to do, okay? That's what your destiny is you're destined to do that and you will achieve it you will achieve it I'm seeing the yes card here let's take a message from your higher self pause pause in reverse you're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward allow yourself to step back and look at all possible outcomes and make sure you're headed in the right direction before moving forward okay so if you're like upset at somebody and you're feeling like okay that's it i'm done and um you feel disheartened um your angels are saying pause before you take a quick decision now you know why i'll take one more message here for you check in when you think about whatever it is you're pondering take a moment to check in with how you feel about it do you feel lighter or heavier excited or filled with dread pay attention to your inner guidance it's always so helpful so this is a way where i'm feeling your higher self is telling you you're always connected to your higher self you're always connected to the angelic realm and the angels are speaking to you through many different ways okay so check in with how you're feeling Okay, before making a decision let's look at a door that is opening for you with this judgment card what is a door oh the door to abundance beautiful look at that you're going to be experiencing abundance with this door with this judgment card okay as you're healing this it is this is your birthright you are meant to experience abundance of love you're meant to experience abundance of wealth you're meant to experience liberation you're meant to experience this abundance of free spiritedness and new beginnings and adventures you're meant to experience this passion okay and you're meant to experience abundance in so many ways of joy fulfillment and support so this is what is opening for you as you are finishing up this cycle okay judgment is almost there um, this is you're releasing and understanding these blocked energies so you're almost there okay what I want to ask is um, just a little bit more on this abundance angels what can they experience in what aspects know that this is a general reading divine feminines if you want something personal for you you can book it with me the email is in the description box of this video okay 11th house okay networking speaking and we have here the virgo energy abundance okay virgo it's taking me back here to uh for your work and employment all right for sure um you're going to be um there's a lot more with the 11th house one one it could also be new beginnings in love 
uh, I'm not I'm reading the messages intuitively this can also be because it's taking me to like a pathway to one and one so maybe you're drawing in a divine counterpart to you you've connected with the divine counterpart um, I feel like when you're going to be speaking and expressing yourself with Mercury, with your ideas, there's going to be now an abundance of ideas that comes in, an abundance of ideas, you expressing yourself. Now you're seen, okay? And I feel like people in, um, in your groups, maybe it's good to network also with the 11th house. I'm seeing like groups, networks, connections, okay, other people. So there's a lot of connection. Okay, you're working on connecting different people. We had seen that with the seventh house, right? With the seventh house of partnerships. So you're going to have abundance of even friends. Okay, I'm feeling like friends. Um, friends who are very, very um, beautiful. And I don't mean beautiful as in the external beautiful. They have like beautiful energy, very loving, very fun. Um, some of them very, very, uh, I'm feeling some of them very, very creative. Some of them who are going to be like super spontaneous. Let's do this. Very spirit, very fun spirited, right? So you'll have many moments to experience these. Okay. There's some who are all about the, um, uh, <laughs> who are all about, let's, you know, we're on the spiritual quest. Let's go on this retreat. Let's do this spiritual quest. And some of them are super like successful at work and, um, you feel like so inspired, um, you know, being with them around around them so I definitely feel a growth even in very different aspects of your friendships that is coming in and with the Virgo energy I definitely see self mastery coming here in your work and great expansion okay, abundance with that abundance in your work and um, abundance in friendships connections and abundance of thoughts and also all this speaking oh I love that that's beautiful angels thank you let's look at Something that's going to help you with this abundance. Something that you can do. You should do. You should do. You should do. You should do. Service. Okay. Service. So what will help you with your abundance is to help someone. So your path is path of service. Okay. So if you are, you know, with the heart chakra and service, what's going to happen is it's helping you heal the heart chakra. Okay. That's what's happening here. Um, so this can be in any form you uh, you know if you have kids or you're around kids you want to uh, you know take care of other people's kids uh, you're helping out in a preschool you're volunteering um, you know you're making food um, you're giving food to the hungry any sort of service any sort of service um, you know the the speaking part let's say uh, there are people that you want to um, inspire you want to uplift and you create like a networking group and that's where you're giving like free okay you're giving of your talent of your energy for free that's service okay that's very important I also feel this is very part of your um, karmic path meaning this is what you're meant to do okay um, and I do feel that sometimes when we are doing the service, sometimes there can be expectations that kind of come in, like I didn't get enough out of what I was giving. But here, this is what is going to help you expand your abundance, service, be of service. And this can be taking care of someone, okay? Taking care of someone physically, mentally, emotionally, emotionally also. Psychologically, some of you are mental health experts or in the field of mental health, okay? So I do feel I, this is what is going to really support you. Let's take some more messages from here. What will support this abundance or the service? Besides service, how can they expand onto this abundance? Okay, Capricorn, the third house. And we have here the South Node, okay. Let me feel what I feel with the South Node. I know what it means. I'm feeling out the energy. Okay, so what I'm feeling, what will help you with your abundance is someone here, I picked up on <laughs> telepathically, <laughs> I picked up on someone's uh, thoughts of I can't do this because it's so reckless. That's like what I literally heard. Okay. So I'm feeling some judgments, some sort of judgments that you're holding judgments towards someone or people whom you consider they're being reckless. Okay. So look at things from a different perspective because it's really going to support you. 
um, because this is stopping you it's you know you're holding back you're holding back expressing yourself and feeling yourself um, or uh, just you know allowing yourself to be uh, more spontaneous you're destined to release it okay so that is what the south node is so we asked about how you can grow into this abundance is to open up to different people different ideas there may be someone who is very hasty someone who is a little bit more reckless someone who you may see as very naive okay i'm really picking up on full reverse here okay someone you feel is very very naive someone who just you know just takes all these plunges i do feel there's some resentments there's some judgments that you're holding that's a very big message and there's definitely a specific message coming for someone and they could you know many of you could relate to that some sort of a judgment you're holding with someone um or some people or a group of people okay so what will support you is to release it and you're destined to release it you'll do it <laughs> you'll do it okay um, because again the message coming directly related with the fool is to conform is to die inside and the fool says I'm not going to conform I'm going on the journey I'm going for this I'm going for it I'm going for it I'm taking on this new path okay that's the energy so maybe these people have come into your life to show you that um, you can maybe take some portions of it and that will help you to expand your crown chakra with a third house this can also be the house with siblings so maybe there's some sort of some things with the siblings and um, to have a any any sort of hurt pain judgments angst that you have with siblings and I'll talk about other aspects of the third house but right now I'm picking up siblings um for those of you who have siblings so you're destined to release it okay you're destined to release that part to bring in more healthy communication we had seen the communication and to be the uh, bringer of love the forgiveness and you know see things from a greater perspective because that's your that's your key purpose here and here we have here and the and the three is also the third house of communication again and we had seen mercury Okay. So for sure, communicating, maybe some of you are meant to talk about your journey, talk about and it brings healing in, maybe talk it out with family, talk it out on what has been going on, perhaps the judgments you felt or the judgments towards others, how you can bring peace, how you can bring healing in. Okay, So you have a healing energy. There's something that's going to be unlocked when you bring peace in with the third house. Okay, Definitely healing with siblings. Okay. And uh, of course, with communication, which I had already mentioned before. And then we have here the sign of Capricorn. The Capricorn is very ambitious, is very earth element, is an earth sign. Earth sign talks about practicality. So start to take practical steps and be dedicated, right? Be dedicated about your work. Go forth for it. Step by step, continue building upon this work and you will achieve mastery. That's how you're going to be unlocking greater levels of abundance. Okay, so enough on that. Let's look at um, how the angels are supporting you through this journey of abundance. Which angels coming through? And the card that jumped out was the angel of balance here. So this is the balance that is being restored. I'm seeing Egypt here. Maybe some of you are going to be unlocking some psychic information uh, with Egypt. Some of you definitely have connection with Egypt, Egyptian pharaohs, the way they work, service, something related with that. So look up on, on Egypt and their um, esoteric information that's out there. I do feel that is a specific message coming in that it would be, it would be good for you to connect with the Egyptian culture but of the past okay definitely some past life connections you have over there you're holder of some esoteric information that's going to come through okay as you heal this you're at this judgment phase then we're going to reach the world then after the world we come to the fool so you're right there this is this is big healing taking place and with the angel of balance coming in you're healing both the feminine and the masculine energy that's how the angels are helping you who's coming through in the physicality how are the angels um, who are they bringing 
in my beautiful people's lives with this abundant cycle coming through in the physicality to a person. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Um, for those of you, yeah, well, feminines, you're bringing in, this man can be even a female, okay? Um, definitely what I'm picking up with the man energy is the masculine. You're going to be attracting to you, and that's why the angel of balance is coming to you, a very, very hot central masculine to you, okay? Um, this is just feels like very union energy for me. Someone who has tapped into their feminine energy, uh, very heart centered, um, very loving. So this is giving me like the Knight of Cups energy, very romantic, very loving, um, very open, very trustworthy. So, is this someone? It's someone you've not experienced before. This type of energy, okay, is very, very passionate. Is um, very free spirited, very loving. Okay, I feel like this. You could be meeting this person when you are doing some sort of service. Okay, let's take a little bit more here, actually, from this deck to see who is this man holding a heart. Oh, the cards are going. Wow, that's why it's flew out. We got the tower. Okay. Someone you don't expect. This is going to come in very suddenly. Oh my gosh. And I'm seeing the justice again at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Justice from this deck and justice from this deck. Yeah. Okay. This is what I was seeing when I was talking to you guys. So I said, uh, who is this person? So this person is very just, very fair, balance again. I'm seeing the card of balance, very balanced, okay? Upholds the truth, a uh, person of integrity, um, not deceitful, okay? Someone who is very honest, that's what I'm picking up. Someone uh, who values um, people, celebrates people, celebrates life, celebrates others, okay? Very collaborative, very, very balanced again. See, the four of wands. So you may be pulling in your divine counterpart to you. Okay, that's what I had picked up at the beginning. I do feel this is going to come in very suddenly. Uh, you're not expecting this. Both of these, uh, it looks like the feminines are just busy like looking into their own thing. Like, oh, I'm looking at my bowl. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at my work. I'm looking at my life. And boom, this person comes in suddenly. Um, it's going to be a shocking experience uh, in a good way. Okay, It's like shock. Like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Um, definitely gorgeous, positive um, person, someone who has great um, mindset, positive mindset. I love that. They're very honest. I love that. Very honest. They're, they're, very, um, they're very balanced. They're very fair. So they see things from both perspectives. They're not someone who are ego driven and then I, me, myself. Uh, I love that. Very, very balanced. I'm feeling such good energy, divine feminines, with this man holding a heart. And this is coming in because of this abundance of cycle. Wow. Beautiful messages. Thank you, angels. I'll close out the reading for you. I'll take a closing message for you from here. Gratitude. Wow. So first message is that uh, I'm seeing the card number six takes me to lovers. You're going to be so, so happy, so grateful for your life, for everything and how it has turned out. And a message over here is to be in gratitude for your life, for how it has turned out. Be grateful for your life, for how it's turned out, for the person you are, for the person you are becoming. It wouldn't be possible for all these experiences. It has taught you something. You're here to heal some things in your family. Um, I don't like using the word, you're the chosen one, but yeah, you're the chosen one here in the family. Your family was waiting for, your family lineage was waiting for someone like you to enter uh, and come in and heal um, the family tree, okay, family tree. And um, this would be something you're going to be so grateful for. I see that love, I see that beauty that's coming in. That's wonderful. That's beautiful. Thank you, angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for tuning in, my beautiful divine feminines. I love you all. May this manifest in the most beautiful, most harmonious, most positive way. May this love, this uh, person holding the heart, vulnerable person come in. May there be many moments of celebrations. If someone is getting engaged or married, send me a card. <laughs> At least send me an e-bite, send me a picture, send me that, yes, my dreams are manifesting. And I am so grateful to all of you for 
helping me to realize my dreams and for allowing me to be in service. I too am healing family wounds and family issues like you. I'm divine feminine. Okay, so I was already put on the path of service here. I saw that and I realized that, that it is part of my work. It is part of why I've come here on earth to do is to be of service to others. And I actually feel really good. <laughs> and right now, I am feeling really cold. It suddenly changed weather. So I'm going to go make some tea. And if you guys want to work with me, um, just connect with me via email. You can read up about all the beautiful stuff I've written really nice on my website. <laughs> I'm verbose, so it's a lot of stuff there. But um, if you do feel a call to work with me, the email is given below. You know, I'm an energy healer, transformational coach, whatever it is that you like. And if this is where our journey ends, I send you many blessings, my beautiful divine feminines, and I'll catch you in my next video. Namaste.